Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. You'll see that there's an unboxing of this beautiful Bible. It is the ESV um, crossway double column Bible. Um, and I am going to do the first page in this Bible um, in Genesis 1. Often people ask, where do I start? Where do I start? Um, and Bible journaling can be very scary, especially if you're not used to putting uh, pictures or coloring or art in your in your pages. Um, I know that for the first time when I did it, I was sitting there looking at these ladies thinking that they're nuts. And so it is it is kind of scary and it is intimidating. So I would encourage you to not ever start with your favorite verse because uh, where I started and where what I do now is very different and and so my favorite verse I want to be pretty and memorable um, and so start at the beginning <laughs> um, I actually did this with my very first Bible uh, also when I bought my very first Bible I did the first page um, and I did a lyric by um, a, a band that I really enjoyed and it the lyric is just let there be light and that was my statement piece that was the title i wrote out and uh, that is how i started that that new bible uh, just right you know doing some sunshine and uh, saying let there be light so for this page in this brand new bible that i want to use for um hand painting or shall i say my, my own things um and you know copying and learning that's fine um, but I didn't want to use any printables in this new Bible um, and so I am doing some I don't know I'm hoping it looks like a kind of a galaxy <laughs> I'm quite impressed with the amount of water that this um, Bible handles I hope you can see there it was very wet and I didn't gesso it and it survived my friend Andre told me that it survives um, so I didn't just it I didn't prep the page in any other way I literally just went straight on with the water and lots of watercolor paint um, and then I did some splatters with the Windsor Newton white ink um, to symbolize stars I suppose uh, note to self this ink kind of uh, sticks on to nails and anything else that it hits <laughs> So I'm using a Bible mat that uh, is from Frances Hartzer. She's uh, Wurtkens on social platforms. Um, and I just wanted to kind of write out a very simple statement. Remember now, this is not my study Bible. I'm just playing around with paint in this Bible. This is what I want to do in this Bible. Um, the other three Bibles that I'm working in, is for each of my three daughters and then my big illustrating bible i'm using to study and then this bible i really just want to play in yes i'm very spoiled i have so many bibles and i, I really don't want to sound spoiled i'm super thankful it is something that i do not take for granted at all it is an honor and a privilege to have this many bibles that i can read from and play with and just be in the word of god uh, constantly and so i'm just writing out in the beginning i'm using a uh, Fabric Castell put artist pen in a brush nib in a white which is beautiful um, I did use my Uniball Signo to just kind of uh, go over it just to give it some some uh, more definition uh, I wanted to write but like I said I wanted this just to be a simple statement piece and so I just uh, underlined the words in the beginning on this page uh, I am going to and this is also a video on my on my channel I'm gonna make my own washi to kind of go with this I'm using the Munio watercolors these were a gift from my friend um, and I wanted to see how they held held up on the on the masking tape I used gelatos in my video on how to make your own washi um, but here I wanted it to kind of match this uh, background this sort of very light galaxy it's not very dark at all i need to play with colors and this is something i learned watercolor fades as it dries um so it is always much lighter once it dries than it is when you apply it um i'm 
kind of just using that Bible mat to dry the, the washi. I didn't want to um, take it to the tool because the heat kind of activates the stickiness on these way more. So I kind of just wanted to see how much it would dry on its own. Taking that same ink and making some splatters on there as well. And then I wanted to um, check how this masking tape reacts to being torn. So first I tore off half of it. I'm going to make a tab out of that piece. And then I kind of tore it down the um, center of it in lengthwise uh, to see, because I like doing that with washi. And so I tried doing that with this one. It does have a very strong white edge and it doesn't tear as, as easily as washi tape does, but it's fine. I, I liked it a lot. Um, and just taking some glue, adding my tabby on there, and it's kind of like this all-in-one same color page that I've got here. Uh, I quite liked it actually. And then I'm going to use that white space in the bottom to date stamp this entry. Uh, I'm using a Fab Castell Pit Artist pen in a brush nib to ink up my date stamp. And uh, that is that for this page. Like I said, just going over the white words with my Uniball Signo just to make it pop a bit more. Uh, you can see it better on the actual page, but uh, like I said, that's what I wanted. Just a simple statement. <laughs> and there you go. That was it for my first entry in this new Bible. Um, I loved it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.